Hi, how is everyone doing? Here's Daniel from I Know First. I wanted to make a quick video um, with some suggestions of how you can use the I Know First algorithmic interface, which we have just implemented into our Excel tables. So in this video, I will quickly go through some of the tables. Um, in one example, the stocks, then the interest rates table and the currencies table and show you how we can find some interesting positions to open. Um, so it's currently Sunday the 14th of June. In case that seems unlikely we can show here. So as you can see um, it is Sunday the 14th of June. I'm here in Tel Aviv in our head offices and let's start so we can see here that we have the one month table uh, of course we have at the top the best stocks opportunities right now this is uh, the top 20 table which released on this Sunday and we have the new algorithmic interface and we can see here we have various settings now I personally would use the high risk or medium risk um, as I want to open more positions every day and mitigate my risk that way. Um, and as we can see here the macro automatically gives us the best options that we can enter right now according to this setting which is based on the stock currently trading at above its five-day moving average. Now um, in this case, if I had to pick a few stocks, and let's say we were going to make a portfolio of three stocks, one interest rate and one um, currency, which I've already set up here a little bit to make it simpler to understand, um, it will include a total of $100,000, and let's say it's a day trade, so we're just looking for opening our positions for one day and of course we have the entire Sunday sort of to decide what you want to do as the table is already ready on Sunday and of course trading only starts on Monday so let's start with the example of the stocks so just to make it clear if I were to click now on YZC it would open up in Yahoo Finance and as you can see this is a Chinese ADR and here we can see that the price is currently slightly above the five-day moving average which is the red line and this is the reason that also it marks it on the table and it hopes that potentially here would be the time when the stock rises according to what the algorithm predicts which happened also previously here we can see on the 25th of March was the same idea and this is what the, the rise we're trying to catch so of course we would open that day trade for a few days straight um, ideally also not close the position so you can just keep on holding it especially if it's a Chinese ADR which trades in Hong Kong meaning that you would lose all, all the trade that happens overnight if you're trading based only on the states um, so let's put let's take the three strongest signals from the one month table um, which is YZC, FSLR and PAA and double check that in the short term they're also um, looking positive. Now as we can see YZC is over here in the short term which is good. Um, FSLR is quite weak short term. And our third one PAA is missing completely which is not very comforting. Um, but I can see again here that it appears in the seven days. So I'm going to go with the assumption that in the three days it's still slightly bullish, which is not great, but it is quite a, much, a stronger signal than EQR, and I can see the predictability of 0 0.36 is also quite a bit higher, which means historically the algorithm was better at predicting this stock, so I think it is the better bet in this case. So I'm going to put those three stops on our Excel. Now you can see I'm allocating 80% of the 100,000 to stocks in this case, so 26.6 thousand apiece. Um, 
In terms of currency, it's 10%, which comes out to 100,000, which is because it's leveraged to 10. Um, generally, we trade only G10 currencies, and um, we leverage them to 10, which is not such a high leverage. Um, and finally, we have the interest rate, which we keep as it is. Now, for our next table, so here we decided already on our stocks, we are looking for a currency to trade. Now, as you can see, signal-wise, the signals are really weak in currencies on this date. Um, and while the euro Japanese yen looks really good in the long term, it's not helping us for a day trading. Um, and I would definitely not use the US dollar, Singapore dollar model here because the signal of one is just too weak. Uh, if you're wondering how I know it's weak, it's just through knowing the tables historically and knowing that these numbers generally should be, especially for a long position, 10 and above. Um, but perhaps the New Zealand dollar, US dollar short looks quite strong. And in this case, we also have our macro, but we're going to have to put um, our own setting because if I go low risk, you can see the lowest signal is 16, where it filters out. So for currencies, you really can use um, 0 and negative 1 and let it run. So we're completely ignoring signal and predictability. We're only looking for um, the moving average and the strongest relative signal, which is minus 7.56. Now we can see that historically the algorithm was pretty much neutral about this pair, um, but it is also in the short term um, quite bearish. So I would say this is quite a good short and for those who knows, right now the New Zealand dollar is doing quite badly. So the algorithm predicts this trend shall continue. Um, so let's go with that as our next. And finally, the interest rate. Um, so in this case, we still haven't updated the table here to include the macro. So we're going to have to actually go and do it manually. Um, so we have two options here, which is the first one is EMLC, which is Emerging Markets ETF um, for bonds. And you can see here, if you go into Yahoo, um, I already set it up. So here we have EMLC, that the trend is currently down and slightly below the moving average. So if we we're trading purely systematically, we would actually have to assume that it's not a trade. Um, although you could say it is pretty much on the moving average, um, but we will not trade the emerging markets ETF in this case if we are following the, um, the rules. And we can see here we have CSBGE0, which is actually a European 7 to 10 year bonds ETF. And this one is also already open over here and we can see it's currently trading above the five day moving average so we're gonna in that case use a long position on it um, and that's just what we're gonna do over here and I'm gonna copy it because it's too long and we have our little setup in this case we would trade accordingly to this. Um, so our total capital at risk is 190,000 and what I will do is right now it's Sunday so I'm just going to wait until Monday's trading ends. Basically I will check on Tuesday morning what the current price levels are and update the table over here. Good morning, so it's uh, Tuesday now, um, June 16th. Um, this video is a continuation to the one I made on Sunday where I wanted to show the results of yesterday's day trading. Um, I just basically in this table took the opening prices and closing prices from Yahoo for Monday. Um, assuming that we would have bought the security at immediately when the market opened and sold it um, just before the market closes um, as you can see our results were quite good especially in stocks where the algorithm turns to Excel we have here uh, FSLR with um, almost 7% return um, and we also did well on the short on the New Zealand dollar US dollar which actually went down 
um, with our leverage that results in almost a 2% gain um, and the bonds ETF here which also had a slight positive return um, for an overall 4% return um, which is quite high even for this model um, perhaps the thing to keep in mind is that the model um, has a pretty low risk as we are not ever holding a stock if it's below its moving average meaning we're not going to catch it on a long term downtrend um, of course you're going to get zigzag in and out a little bit from positions um, and this is similar to trading just currencies um, intraday and setting up a stop loss where you're probably going to hit your stop loss more often than your take profit um, except we're doing it in a larger scale so over a few days um, and this is it so if you like the video please like and share um, and if I see enough people like it perhaps I'll make a larger video with um, also examples of how to actually execute the trades and where to set your losses um, and, and everything else so thanks and see you in the next video